Hi everybody, it's Lisa from Sutton's Days and this is 30 Days of Thanksgiving. Tonight I'm bringing to you an appetizer. Um, this is not an original by me. I actually have no idea who it came from originally, but a co-worker brought in some uh, last week and she said she made these up and, and gave me just a brief overview of what was in them and I went, this is genius, so simple so easy, a true crowd pleaser, great not only for Thanksgiving, but um, Super Bowl parties or New Year's parties or just because the day ends with day, you know, it's always a great dinner. Are you ready? Thanksgiving meatballs. Let's and go. here's your ingredient list. One pound of ground turkey, one box of stuffing mix, turkey flavor if you want, other flavor if you want, one egg, that is your ingredient list. <laughs> this is okay, going to be so much fun. So, went to the store. I have, seriously, you guys, never bought ground turkey from a store before. Yeah, I know. Anyway, so this is what they had. It just happened to be on sale. How's that for genius? And they've got it in this really nifty little bowl. Wow, I think I now know. Okay, so we got to take that out. Mm-hmm. Okay, ground turkey. I am not going to dirty another dish just for the sake of dirtying another dish. I'm going to crack that egg, put it in there, and then I am going to open this box of store-bought stuffing mix. Now, honestly, uh, any other time, I might make my own stuffing for this because it really is six of one half dozen the other. Um, but for convenience and ease, does it get any better than this? Take that out. Okay, so that's about half of the bag right there. So I'm going to start mixing that in, making a grand old mess. Now Phil will eat box stuffing, but under protest. <laughs> and he has, you know, he is responsible for showing me that Homemade stuffing is not difficult. It's very easy, very tasty, very good. So we use his mother's stuffing mix, which I believe is pretty much like, just about like anybody else's. Okay, so you put that whole box in there. You make an absolute mess because you didn't bother pulling out a big bowl to mix it in. But that's why there's dogs. They will help you clean up anything that flies off the counter, right? Okay. There we go. So I'm going to get this all incorporated, and then we will start making the meatballs. I love the smell of box stuffing mix. I really do. So this is all mixed in nice. Let me scoop some of this up. Okay. And now we're going to start making the meatballs. Let's get moved over. Okay, so now we're going to take these and just form them up into the size meatball. Just your average size meatball. Nothing spectacular. Okay. I'm doing it on a foil sheet because that helps with cleanup. Let's see how many we get out of this. Now, when I am putting these in the oven, Oop, preheat the oven to 375. <laughs> okay, so when these are cooking, I will be making up a gravy. Now you can do this just about any way you want. Um, you can buy the pre-mixed, you know, the package gravy. You can buy the jar gravy. You can make your own gravy. Um, I don't have any pre-packaged jarred whatever gravy, so I'm going to make up, uh, I was talking to Tina from Wilhelm's Kitchen. I'm like, I need to make up a gravy, and I know I need a roux, but how do I do this without drippings, because I just don't make a lot of gravy. Um, and she's, classic restaurant gravy is make your roux, and then I've got the Thrive Chicken Bouillon, so I'm going to use that and uh, make up a broth that I add to the roux. Oh, with... Uh, cornstarch and she said that will be your classic restaurant gravy so that's an option also okay but so what you would do 
How did you get out of this? I bought an extra package just in case. But for each pound of uh, ground turkey, you're going to want... These are going to be some big meatballs. You're going to want uh, a box of the stuffing, okay? And an egg, because that's what's going to keep it all held together. This would be, like, just the coolest, easiest dinner ever. Um, make these. Make some gravy on the side. Put them with uh, some mashed potatoes or vegetable, green beans or something like that. Oh, my God. Okay, so we're going to put these in the oven uh, once it preheats. So the oven's preheating to 375. We're going to put them in the oven until they're done. I will let you know what that time frame is. Okay, so when it gets while those are in the oven, we're going to make the very simple uh, restaurant-style gravy. Okay, so I've got probably about three cups of water in there. I'm going to put in three teaspoons of the Thrive um, chicken bouillon. <clears throat> you can put any bouillon you want. Okay, we're going to bring that up to a boil and then we are going to add cornstarch. And that will thicken it up for a really nice dipping gravy for our meatballs. Okay, let's get that up to temp. Okay, so this is starting to heat up really nice, and I'm going to start adding cornstarch. I'm going to start with that. And that's all this is, bouillon, water, and cornstarch. You can add more seasonings if you want. Actually, it's been, I don't know, the last time I used cornstarch. So, there we go. Okay, so I'm going to turn down the heat a little bit. See it thicken right up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, nice and thick. Take it off the heat. And we have gravy. And here we have them. Okay. So I'm going to crack into one of these here. These were in the oven for about, I want to say 45 minutes at 375. Okay. See, they cooked all the way through nice, nice and pretty. Now you just dunk them a little bit in that gravy. Everything, of course, is super hot. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm. Okay. It's like a miniature turkey dinner in your mouth. The gravy. If you were to get um, any kind of turkey gravy, it would be insane. This chicken, basic chicken gravy is uh, good. It's a, you know, it's, an, it's a doable substitute, but if you were to get a turkey gravy in a jar, in a package, whatever... Oh, that's the bomb. These are incredible. Does it get any easier than that three ingredients, not including the gravy? And, oh my gosh. Okay, so, perfect little, and you can make these smaller. Definitely you can make these smaller, but, wow. Look at that. So it's got all your herbs and spices and seasonings. The bread from the, the stuffing and the turkey. Oh, you guys, maybe, maybe if you wanted to get really creative, you could do like a little um, cranberry, little cranberry chutney over to the side to serve with it. It's hot. Mmm. <laughs> You're going to love this. Of course, you can use your own stuffing. You know, you can make your own stuffing instead. Um, of course, you can do a different kind of gravy. But this is a keeper for sure. This has multiple uses. But as an appetizer for Thanksgiving, get them all worked up and prepped up for the main meal. Okay. 
Okay, so that is 30 days for Thanksgiving today, our Thanksgiving meatballs. I hope that you enjoyed this, and I hope that you give it a try. If you do, I'd love to hear about it in the comment section below. Um, remember to please check out the other channels for 30 Days of Thanksgiving. There's some really, really great content being put out, and, uh, and I know that I'm enjoying them, so I hope that you are also. If you like what we do here, please hit that like, subscribe, and share. Check us out on Instagram and Facebook. And as always, until next time, please be safe. Bye.